All right, home stretch. This is part eight, uh, 123 update. So here we go. Uh, first up is Terra at Ten Killer, Obscure No More. I mean, this has made it on the DVD, but not the best edition you can get your hands on. So this is a crazy, crazy, big, big upgrade. This little 80s slasher. Used to be one of those obscure ones. Um, to make it up out of the VHS graveyard, but thanks to Vinegar Syndrome, amazing. We now have this unbelievable 4K, no less. Oh yeah, of this little movie. And the same copy that put out Blood Cult, another one that I've always liked. Um, responsible for this one. So awesome. I like that they stuck the original uh, VHS cover art. So, uh, it's an okay, it's, I, I like this little slasher, it's not bad, and, um, trying to be a 80s slasher completist, so this was just a huge no-brainer, so, and then for it to get upon a nice, make it to a nice edition like this is just, it's amazing, so, yeah, that's what makes the hobby fun, so, I know, I'm a broken record, yep, Terror at 10 Killer, Beautiful edition. Can't wait to take advantage of that one. Have not had the chance to do that just yet. Hopefully this weekend. Maybe. Uh, next is one that I wasn't sure of. I was just on the fence about and decided to just decided to go for it. Um, the time bending mysteries of Sharam Makori. If I'm saying that right, probably not. Um, a few movies in this pack. Just read up on it. It seemed to be another another creeper. So that's what I'm looking looking for. One of those like some sort of like folk horror. And with this one, crazy blind buy for me. Um, I'm thinking I'll dig it nice fat pack edition I got this through uh, yeah death crocodile so it kind of flew over my radar um, just recently discovered this one just give this one a chance um, I found a few reviews for some of these movies and they seem pretty promising so yeah four discs Beautiful edition. So well, I will give these movies a shot. They just seemed really interesting. So yeah, the um, time-bending mysteries of Sharam Makari. If I'm saying that, I'm probably not saying that right, but I tried. <laughs> that was really like a nice booklet, so that's always appreciated. Nice little slip cover. All around beautiful edition from Death Crocodile. Um, excited. I'm excited for this one. This is the Tim Ritter collection, the SOV Years from SRS Cinema. Nice fat pack. Pretty cool. Seem like a huge no-brainer. I'm, no, I'm always into these kind of movies, so I had to jump on this, place a pre-order. Each movie has its own um, spindle. I'm trying to be careful with this. Yeah. And the movies included are, I already had some of these on Blu-ray, but it's just nice to get this in a nice collector's pack. So, uh, Twisted Illusions 1 and 2, you have Creep, uh, Dirty Cop, No Donut. I am a pig, Dirty Cop, No Donut, so that's Dirty Cop Part 2. And then Reconciled Through, uh, through the Christ. 
um, plus hundreds of hours and extras, including interviews, behind the scenes, commentary tracks, trailers, still galleries, and so much more. So I like a lot of his movies, the Tim Ritter stuff. So this just, um, I had to jump on this. That's a really nice addition from uh, SRS Cinema. So you can tell they put a lot of, put a lot of love and, and care into it releasing these movies into this kind of edition so very nice edition very nice collector's pack to get your hands on if you're a fan of these uh, kinds of movies so shout out video stuff had to get that uh next one is completely new to me torture the tortured soul trilogy this one's through some, some more shot on video stuff i believe yeah who released this? Um, yeah, Saturn's Core. That's right, Saturn's Core released this one. Should have known. Uh, movies included are Tortured Soul from 1992, Tortured Soul Part 2 from uh, 1994, Tortured Soul 3, uh, The Willing Flesh from 04, 2004. So, yeah. A trilogy that... Uh, I never knew about. I don't think I had any of these movies in my collection, so I don't think I ever had these on DVD. So it seems uh, pretty ex obscure stuff at the time. Crazy. Um, really nice collector's booklet. Information and stuff about the movie. So that's cool. The movies. Pretty fun cover art. Two discs for the three movies. So yeah, Tortured Souls trilogy. Looks to be a lot. It looks to be a blast. Um, Trouble Every Day. I heard nothing but great things about this one. Should set this one aside. This is one I've been wanting to check out uh, for a long minute. So, yeah, I've heard nothing but positive things about this one. Trouble Every Day. Looks to be pretty intense. Um, who released this one? The Film Desk. Right? Yeah, the Film Desk. Released by the Film Desk. I think that's a new partner label through Vinegar Syndrome, if I remember. I take notes. I just, uh, it's hard to remember everything. Uh, another upgrade, now on 4K, is Two Orphan Vampires. It's another one I dig been a while since I've watched this one loaded with uh, special features it's insane Jean Roland another Jean Roland another upgrade from uh, the older uh, Redemption Blu-ray every single one of those Blu-rays are now being re-released now on to 4k This one's from Indicator. Oh, got a stretch. Uh, so yeah, I big fan of what Indicator do. Love the love that company. So awesome. Looking forward to revisiting this at some point. I should probably do that. Uh, I've been craving vampire movies, so I'll probably give this a spin uh, sometime in October. So I'll do that. So two orphan vampires. No excuse not to now that it's coming this immaculate collector's edition booklet all these have been coming out Ooh, <laughs> sorry amazing uh booklets so cool uh next one is uh continuing on with collecting some of these ultraman some Ultraman movies. Shin Ultraman. So 
re re released through um, Cleopatra Entertainment. I've yet to see this one. Went on an Ultra, Ultraman uh, binge kick not too long ago, and um, my kids are a fan of Ultraman, so that, that makes me happy <laughs> um, that they like uh, the Ultraman stuff. Um, oh, and then this one is, I didn't really need this one, but I think this is pretty neat that they're separating some of these episodes based on certain villains like Red King, so I couldn't help myself. I grabbed the Ultraman versus uh, Red King, all the episodes featuring uh, the battle with uh, Red King. I didn't need this. I already have those uh, nice collector packs, but some of these I can't resist. And uh, Red, Red King is one of the core uh, villains, monster villains. So I had to get that. Uh, undefeatable. Um, going up against the crazy psycho serial killer. So I had to, just from this, based on the synopsis alone, I had to add this one into my uh, collection and uh, the trailer it looked hilarious the fights looked um, in my humble opinion looked really bad but in an entertaining kind of way so the fights did not look convincing at all for this movie but I just want to see how psycho this guy gets so and then you got uh, Cynthia Rothrock I'm saying her last name right I'm only familiar with a few of her like martial arts movies just growing up um i watched a few of those when i was a kid her movies but undefeatable i have never seen before never even heard of until this drops so now this is uh making the leap onto 4k straight to 4k so cool looks hilarious so undefeatable heard nothing but good things about that one uh underneath an anthology of terror this one's uh, Dark Side Collection through their Dark Side Releasings uh, Collection series. Some more short story horror short stories. Uh, Unman, Wittering, and Zigo, if I'm saying that right. Uh, released by Arrow. Um, psychological thriller. Again, just a new, completely new to me. So that is what I live for. Just movies I've never even heard of that seemed, seem amazing. So I can't wait to check this out. So thank you, Arrow. Like almost all their releases, it comes with a nice poster, so that's that's always appreciated. And a nice collector's booklet with this one as well, a pamphlet, however you want to say it, if I can get it out. Nice pamphlet, pretty cool. We collectors are definitely getting spoiled with all this extra stuff. These additions. And then... Just an ad. So that's sort of ad sheet. Going over other, um, some more of their catalog stuff. So, I don't know, this just seemed, it just seemed interesting to me, so I figured I would give it a shot. All this stuff that I would consider crazy obscure, I've never heard of. Amazing. Unwelcome. I enjoyed this one. This was a lot of fun. Another blind buy I'm glad I took a chance on. Yeah, I had a good time with this one. One of the movies I got to watch here in this month of September. Yeah, I would humbly recommend this one. I'm welcome. Released by Welgo, another new one from uh, Welgo USA, a company that I I like and appreciate. 
um, upgrading upgrade now in 4k so blu-ray had not been out that long so this is part of the hobby that gets uh that i do it to myself that gets aggravating it's like if you 4k is a thing now so just put these new movies release them on 4k okay please <laughs> those of us who are up to date on this stuff you know <sighs> But anyway, great movie. So yes, I wanted to upgrade this to uh, 4K. Very well done movie. Excellent movie. Easy to recommend. So upgrade. Good stuff. Now on 4K, which it should have got a 4K release to begin with. Um, VHS night. Yeah, VHS 99. I've got all these VHS uh, the franchise now. Um, I've enjoyed uh, every single one of them. Uh, some stronger than others, as far as how many are, how many of these shorts are better. But I think part three is the only one that I just wasn't that crazy about. But yeah, VHS 99. Can't wait to check this out. I know I'm, I'm slacking. Still have not watched this yet. Uh, so yeah, that. Uh, video Diary of a Lost Girl. This looks to be really out there. Very strange. Again, another blind buy. Um, released through uh, AG, AGFA. Another company that I really like and appreciate. So yeah, check that out when I can. It looks to be a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. That image there. Read up on it. It just seemed it just fascinated me, so I would wanted to take a chance on this one as well. Oh, and like I said, I like a AGFA. Like what they do. Um, Villages of the Damned. Three horror films. Uh, three horrors from uh, Spain. Beautiful edition. Again, from Vinegar Syndrome. So three horror films. Three horrors from Spain. Um, I don't think I had either one of these before. So I think that this is all, all three of these are the first time for me. Um, yeah. El Bescue de, del Lobo, which is the Forest of the Wolf from 1970. I'm interested. That's one I'm interested in. Well, I'm interested in all these. Uh, the Sky is Falling. The Sky is Falling from 1975. And then Beat Ritz from 1976. Um, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty it's movies that are obscure no more. So that's yeah, that's that's awesome. Again, vinegar syndrome, killing it. Check that out. That's pretty wild. I've got plenty to watch for October. I have not, I have not watched either one of these just yet. And I'll probably just go in order too, uh, starting with uh, Hour of the Wolf, right? No, The Forest of the Wolf. <laughs> Hour of the Wolf is another good one. I'm mixing my movies. That's pretty cool. That's the backside of this uh, booklet. Just checking it for like nudity. Cool. I 
believe this is Blu-ray, it's not 4K. Yeah, Blu-ray. Yeah, beautiful edition. Three horror films I had never even heard of until now. So, amazing. And then continuing on with collecting my Walking Dead. Uh, this is Walking Dead Dead City Season 1. I have not watched a single episode of for uh, Dead City, but I've heard good things. Uh, this takes place in New York City, so that's awesome. Um, I love that kind of setting, a big city. So looking forward to binging this when I can. Love the uh, cover art to that. That's that's pretty cool. This show is just so many spinoffs and stuff. It's it's crazy. It's becoming legendary now. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, I've bought this movie so many times. Big fan of the original here. Uh, the War of the Worlds. The original. Now making the leap onto 4K. Oh, I always forget the year. It's from the 50s. 50, yeah, 1953. Um, I love that they chose this for the, uh, cover art that original poster art is amazing uh it's just an amazing movie hg wells good stuff gotta love world of the worlds i even i love the um the new one too with uh tom cruise uh that was a fun um fun one as well big fan of the remake as well so but yeah the original is good stuff I um, love the design of the uh, UFOs and the way the, um, the original, the, the way the aliens look. Just ahead of its time. It's a bonafide classic. I've bought this movie probably like eight times now. Uh, so now it's on 4K. So this might uh, be my last stop. We'll see. Um, Watership Down. Another uh, cartoon that looks to be extremely... Uh, depressing from what I've read and heard so yeah I'm just one of those that you have to see before you die so um yeah quite aware that this is one of those bona fide classics and I'm embarrassed to say I've just never I've never seen this so looking forward to finally watching Watership Down so I hear it's pretty messed up from a uh, Criterion Comes with a nice uh, collector's pamphlet, booklet, whatever you want to call it. The animation looks absolutely fantastic, so can't wait to can't wait to check that out. So some great hand drawn stuff. See so, yeah, a watership down. Um, let's see when I can watch this one. Welcome to hell. Uh, new one from uh, Terror Vision. I never heard of Welcome to Hell. I don't think I've ever seen this movie before. So yeah, new to me. If it if it had a DVD release, I I never had it. So I don't think no, I never never had this unless it went by another um, title, which I don't. It does. So, big fan of what Terror Vision Records do. So, just another one. I had to jump on it. Welcome to Hell. What's crazy? That demon. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. Let's give it a shot when I can. Uh, what the Waters Left Behind, Scars. This was okay. Not bad. Another blind buy that it was okay. I took a chance on. But yeah, I watched that one not too long ago. Uh, who released this one? Uh, this is another Cleopatra Entertainment one. 
MVD for MVD. Ah, uh, this one was pretty tough. Another uh, cartoon. Uh, when the Wind Blows. Uh, released by a through Severn Kids series from, from Severn. Late to the party, but I finally showed up and finally watched it. And yeah, very depressing. Don't know when I'll watch this again, but I do appreciate having a physical copy of it, though. It was really well done, and I, I agree. This is a, definitely an animated classic. So yeah, when the wind blows. Uh, the White Buffalo. This was pretty good. Saw this one for the first time. Another one of those uh, you know, Charles Bronson movies. I'd never seen before. From the 70s, I believe. And they got 1977. The White Buffalo. I remember seeing this in video stores growing up. I just never, just never rented it or checked it out. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd give this a killer albino buffalo I take it something like that I do remember the um, cover art to that which is really cool sort of a western version of Jaws from what I've gathered um, yeah piques my curiosity it's the white buffalo a double feature of um I didn't have part two, but I already had the first one on Blu-ray, but uh, decided to go after it and get this double feature just to have part two. Um, Love White Noise, which I'm a fan of White Noise, but I've never seen White Noise part two. Don't hear a lot of great things about part two, but uh, I'll, I'll see for myself. But yeah, White Noise. White Noise one and two. Uh, White Zombie. It's like my third Blu-ray copy of this movie because it is public domain. I imagine it's still public domain. Uh, this looks to be a really nice addition. I did give it a spin. It looks good to me. But as far as which Blu-ray is the best, I'm no expert, guys. I don't. I do know that this one's uh, this one was really yeah. This one was well done by Golden Ninja Video. They do go after a few public domain horrors, and I could not resist going after White Zombie again. Um, I do keep my previous White Zombie editions. Um, I've got one through, I think it was Kino, and then another one through, uh, oh, I don't remember what other company released the other one. But yeah, I think this is like the third time, uh, third time for White Zombie, uh, making it on, um, making it on the Blu-ray. So this time through Golden, Golden Ninja Video, which I do like this company. I appreciate them. They ship out pretty fast considering they're from Canada. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the Wicked Die Slow. I think I've had this one on a double feature. I'm not... Uh, I don't remember. But it looks crazy. Could not resist that. Looks pretty. Looks to be intense in some scenes from what I've red so yeah the wicked die slow western thriller i guess you could say pretty dark western no one will survive the bloodbath yeah i just i enjoy cutthroats nine so this sort of got me thinking about how much i enjoyed cutthroats nine so i want to check this one out so uh, this has been in my stack for Quite some time. I still need to still not watch that yet. Witch Trap. Again, making the leap onto Blu-ray. It's been on Blu-ray before, if I'm not mistaken. I think through maybe Screen Factory. I don't remember. I don't remember which company released Witch Trap on Blu-ray. But now, supposedly this is the the addition to have through um, MVD Rewind Collection. I love that cover art. Wish Trap's pretty cool. I've always dug Wish Trap. 
not one of my favorites, but it has its moments. So. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I dig Witch Trap. It's been a while. But not one of the best to come from the 80s. But gotta have some Witch Trap. Wrong reasons. Die or die. Another one from MVD Visual. Sorry about the glare. It does have reversible cover art, which is the same as the slip, slip cover. So wrong reasons. Another one that I've heard a lot of good, that's been getting a lot of good buzz, a lot of positive. A lot of positive reviews, so wrong reasons to check that out. That sort of guy wearing the mask there sort of reminds me of um, You're Next or one of those killers from You're Next. So another good movie. Anyway, wrong reasons. Uh, Zardoz. This is a uh, older Twilight Time release that I had been kicking myself over the years for uh, not getting. It sold out pretty quick from what I remember, but uh, it was the the last. For my personal collection, the last one from uh, Twilight Time that I missed out on that I needed to get to, to hunt down. And I finally came across a copy for a reasonable price. Uh, this movie is wild. It's out there. Um, yeah, I was just kicking myself for passing it up. Well, not really passing it up, but I just, just, just did not get it in time before it um, became out of print. But um, this movie is just a huge cult following. Uh, for good reasons, and uh, I'm pretty sure a company like Arrow or Kino, who knows, uh, this will get a re-release, but um, I have all the other Twilight Time editions, all, all the ones that I, all the movies that I'm personally interested in, I have those Twilight Time editions, so it was uh, messing with my OCD that I didn't have this one, so finally, I have a physical copy of Zardoz in my collection so yeah big fan big fan of the movie Sean, one of the sean connery ones a very memorable very just out there movie so. yes Zardoz. okay uh <laughs> this movie is awesome uh zombie ass toilet of the dead upgrade from the dvd Fun movie, one of my favorite zombie movies of all time. Gotta have zombie ass toilet of the dead. Um, I just felt as soon as I got the DVD, I watched it and just automatically just fell in love with it. And it was embarrassed that it took me that long to just find out about this movie. Um, but yeah, great movie. Uh, was ecstatic, and I love that it, the addition is very nice too. So that's cool. I appreciate that the uh, movie, th th this magnitude of, this is just a bonkers movie. You have to see this movie. Um, and I like that it comes with this, like, uh, what do you call it, like a side loader slipcase? It's really nice. So really cool. So um, this is uh, Media Blasters. So yeah, it's always nice to pick up something from Media Blasters. Because um, it's not that often. But they did a, they did a bang up job with this uh this edition here um yeah this was out of left field i was not expecting this um so yeah now i can uh, retire the uh, i think i can get rid of the dvd i'll have to look as far as like special features and stuff but yeah pretty cool and then last for now done with the update 123 so is um i have several different cuts of this movie on blu-ray but now this promises to have all the cuts of uh zombie flesh eaters part five paying homage to pulchy zombie clearly with that zombie there uh really low budget uh zombie movie uh, it's got so many cuts it's i don't know why you have the zombie flesh eaters part five the 51 minute version 
Uh, zombie also goes by Zombie at Part 8 for I don't know why. The International Cut, which is 70 minutes. Uh, zombie Part 8 again. The U.S. Cut, which is 62 minutes. And then it also goes by Urban Decay, 69 minutes. I don't think I'm ever going to watch all these different cuts. It's crazy. But again, the, the OCD in me had to had to go after this edition this is again coming from yes c uh no scs entertainment or scs or social cinema studios so and this movie has its fun little moments so when i found out they were releasing all the cuts in one uh, um, collector's edition i had to go for it again so and i will keep my other editions because they have different cover art and those covers are pretty fun so pretty cool that is that guys that is the update for me for now uh i'll come at you with, uh, with another uh book collection i've got a few books that have come in since then and a uh, monster toy collection update i got a few monster like few cool horror toy collectibles uh I'll show you guys what I got added in. Uh, so that'll be a, hopefully that'll be a, like a that'll be a lengthy video, but hopefully it'll be fun for you guys to watch that video. So uh, as always, take care, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, later.